Child sexual abuse is very, very prevalent. It occurs in our community more so than people would ever imagine. One in four girls are sexually abused before their 18th birthday, and one in six boys are sexually abused before their 18th birthday. They know it's not right, but it's what happens in their life, so they're okay with it until we need to do something. I think one of the things that we would want kids to know is not only are they not alone, that they have a lot of support. We don't want them to shut down. We don't want them to keep this to themselves. We can help them through this. We can deal with this. We can make victims feel comfortable coming forward, knowing that there are services for them. There are places that they can go. At the shelter house, we do a variety of things. We do emergency housing for women and their families that have been in, uh, victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. We also provide legal assistance to them, child advocacy, a children's support group, and also a women's support group at the shelter house. Another thing that we are trying to do to prevent child sexual abuse is community education. We are working with church groups, professional groups, service clubs, and talk to as many people as we can about the effects of child sexual abuse or how to stop the child sexual abuse before it actually occurs. The more that I think as a community we understand the problem, we can decrease the number that we have. And this is a topic that we need to learn about, make it a comfortable topic that people can talk about. I think the biggest thing that a parent can do starting at a very young age is to create a relationship with their child, that there's a lot of trust and they know that they can tell you anything that they need to without feeling as though they're going to be punished for telling you those things. Let kids know if you're in a, if you're in a situation that, that you don't like, it's giving you the creeps, call home, call somebody. Uh, get out of that situation. It's very important to build a trusting relationship with these kids and, and also to talk to the kids about who they can go to that you know that they'll be safe with. They target the ones who may not be the most popular in school, or mom and dads aren't home, or may not be doing well in school, or kind of loners. They target the ones who are going to be easy for them. It's a plan. It's not a spur of the moment sexual assault. The adults are very manipulative. They are grooming these children to be their sexual victims. We at the shelter house do a lot of safety planning with our children, educate the children on what to look for in an adult that may be abusing. Also, what to do if they are caught in a situation that might make them feel uncomfortable. Primary prevention is specific to trying to stop this abuse by educating the community before the abuse actually occurs. At the shelter house, we have a program called the RSVP program, and that stands for Relationship Skills and Violence prevention. One thing that we are doing is a book club and we have piloted this program in Quincy. We use children grades three through five and we also utilize high school mentors. The high schoolers work with these kids for six weeks. They talk to them about some of the, the problems that they are going through. They can talk to these younger kids about what to do and how they handled things. And at the same time, they're going through these books that are handling those types of problems. Another thing that we are trying to encompass within this RSVP program is a program called Coaching Boys into Men, utilizing coaches in our community, having them mentor their athletes with the idea that the boys are the role models in their schools. The coaches talk to them about some relationship skills and talk to them possibly about dating violence or some of the things that are going on in their schools. The vision is to affect as many people as possible and to educate as many pe people as possible. In the next couple of years, we're going to expand our reading club program. We'd also like to expand the Coaching Boys into Men program throughout the whole county. It doesn't just affect the people that are in these programs. It affects their friends. It affects their families. If you have any questions or any comments or would like to talk about preventing child sexual abuse in our community, please feel free to call the shelter house. Our number is 278-7432. We have a 24-hour crisis line that is, is on seven days a week. 90% of child sexual abuse cases 
are with people that these children know. Child sexual abuse is a very disturbing crime and prevention is the key to helping these children out in our community because it, it, it doesn't just affect one person.